You know, there's a secret in your birthday to courage, and courage leads to love. Are you ready to find out the truth? I have the answer. You too can find the truth if you dare. All that and more at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello, your royal majesty, and welcome to Friday. It's finally Friday. Sunny and professionally partnered today. For the Leos, the moon is in Taurus. It's in the final stages of chapter three of Taurus. So you're putting the emotional finishing touches on career and legacy, and you're also picking up on career and legacy. This is a good time to get to the bottom of something. Maybe you're feeling something off with the secretary, feeling something off with the boss, feeling something off with your business partner. Those feelings are reporting in important information take it into consideration of what you are like casting. Now, zip it to the sun. We're in chapter three of sun in Aquarius. Today, Uranus rules the day. That is breakdown, breakthrough. But the smallest and most important piece of the puzzle, this is the final piece you've been looking for when it comes to relationships. So why is it that I can't draw in a wife? Why is it that I can't get it working with my business partner? Why is it that I always let myself down in the final hour? Those whys will likely be answered if they haven't already. Or it might be a door opening. You are primed to meet someone interesting. Even if you meet someone interesting who's unavailable, by the way, like you meet an unavailable man that you really like or an unavailable woman that you really like, that's the breakthrough. The universe is going, hey, this is what I think you want. And once you say yes, you get one that is available. So it could be the final answer, solution, or reason to the situation. Don't rule out your mirage. How you relate to yourself is so important because the way you treat yourself is the way the guy or girl coming in your life is going to treat you as well because by law of attraction all right now over the weekend whatever your breakthrough is you want to run with it mercury and venus rule the weekend so it'll be time to talk process get it off your chest journal blog that's mercury maybe go have a conversation with that person that you're engaged with or engaging with and venus on sunday says now let's build on it since we've had this important talk let's build on it what does that mean for our children what does that mean for our company what does that mean for our mirage so building on it on sunday and over the weekend, it's a social weekend. The moon moves into Gemini. So the Leos will be social butterflies all weekend long. Your emotions will be reporting in on your soul collective, the people in your life. This is your community. This is your neighborhood. This is your uh, professional community. So you'll be out and about and emotionally picking up on those relationships all weekend. They may or may not be a piece of your LTR puzzle that you're working on with Aquarius. And be careful not to go to the dark side of the moon. You are emotionally sensitive. You could take it a little too personally, which is what Leos do. They take things to heart. That's what happens when you rule the heart chakra. And speaking of Leos, DJ David Palmer and myself are live today with Astro Gossip. We're going to talk about the Super Bowl and how we fudge that prediction and also all the headlines and politics of the week and what the stars have to say about the stars. Don't miss David and I. We are fun and we are wise and we are live everywhere. Soul Garden Twinkles. All right, that's all I have for the weekend forecast, Leo. But I'm back on Monday with more Live Love Be. So...